I just realized something today. I am a hoarder of footwear. I own 29 pairs of shoes. When a new technology comes out in the footwear world, I, I just can't help myself. I just gotta have it. <sighs> that said, I do spend about 200 days a year in the mountains burning through boot rubber, so it kind of helps justify my hoarding problem a little bit anyway. And welcome back to the vlog. So I definitely own a lot of shoes. 29 is just what I could count in the first level of my house. There's probably more upstairs that I did not include in that count. But either way, I like to think I have a pretty educated opinion on footwear because I spend a lot of time out hiking around in the mountains. In all that time, I found that there are five pairs of footwear that I use almost all the time. In today's vlog, I'm gonna run through each of those pairs of shoes that I use and what they're for and why they're awesome. So the first pair of shoes, these are Innovate trail running shoes. These ones are Mudcloth 300s. They're super worn out. I've had this exact pair for probably four years now. First thing you'll notice on pretty much all Innovate trail running shoes is how aggressive the tread is on the bottom. These ones are a little bit worn out, but when you buy a brand new pair, all these little lugs are super deep. Extremely grippy. They are very flexible shoe. They're not, they're not super stiff and rigid. Um, great for bow hunting, great for sneaking around. When there's not snow, I'm pretty much rocking a trail runner for pretty much everything I do. I've got pretty strong ankles though, so I can get away with something like this. But they're quiet, they're light, they're flexible, they move with you, they grip super duper well. These things are freaking rad. Next up, these are Schnee's Beartooth boots. They're a full leather boot. They're very lightweight. They're, they're pretty flexible. They don't have a lot of stiffness to them. When I'm doing lots of hunts and stuff up in the North Country, up in the Northwest Territories, I want a, I want a boot that's got the, the full length, covers my ankle obviously, but it's also, I want it to be flexible. I don't want a super stiff and rigid boot. A lot of times up in that country, you're walking these big giant valley bottoms for you know 10 miles a day. And so you want something that's comfortable, that also provides a lot of support. That's also light and these things definitely fit that bill. The, uh, the tread's pretty, pretty shot on them. It's because I use them a lot. Anytime I'm gonna be hiking or doing hunts in country that's not super technical, it's gonna be probably pretty warm out. These are my go-to. All right, next up on the stiffness scale, these are La Sportiva Trango Tower Extreme GTX boots. Real stiff boot, super rigid. They don't, they don't flex at all. Heel and a toe spot so you can add crampons of any kinds. These are a little bit insulated too. So for all the mountain stuff that I'm doing where it's gonna be steep and technical as well as doing some stuff in colder weather, these things are super awesome. They're a very comfortable boot as well for being as stiff as they are. For really cold hunts, when it's gonna be straight snow and ice and steep and gnarly, these are the boots that I'm running. These are La Sportiva Spantix. They are a double boot. They're kind of like a ski boot. They have an inner liner, then they have this outer shell. But these things are ridiculously warm. I mean, you could hike Mount Everest and something like this and your feet would probably stay, stay warm. I've used these on multiple winter mountain goat hunts as well as other late season uh, deer and elk hunts in the lower 48 and I've been pretty much the only person that doesn't get frost nip on my toes. These things have a big toe and heel rivet for either crampons, um, there's multiple ski bindings that also work for something like this for alpine touring. Uh, I've done a few hunts that we've accessed the area with skis and so these are my go-to boots for that. Super aggressive tread on the bottom. These things are one of the warmest boots out there. They're definitely, they're definitely a little bit heavier. If you're spending 10 days on the mountain and it's gonna be potentially 20 below, you're gonna want something like this. So, La Sportiva Spantix. And lastly, flip-flops. Uh, you're probably laughing at this. These flip-flops have got a bottle opener on the bottom, so that's convenient. But mainly flip-flops, like, man, when you get back to the truck, there is nothing finer than taking off your wet, soggy, smelly hunting boots and putting on some flip flops and just letting your feet air dry. I will also pack these on a lot of backpack hunts just as my around camp shoe. They're super light, provide obviously great airflow to your feet. You want your feet to dry out as often as you can and that's gonna help prevent blisters and so flip flops are the key. So that is the five pairs of footwear that I primarily use. And while shooting this vlog, I also realized that I have another hoarding problem which you can 
see in the background, it's uh, primarily shed antlers. I mean, some there, one there, bunch right here. I've got a whole stack in my bedroom. It's a great problem to have. If there's other pieces of gear that you want me to review, uh, make note in the comments below and I'll do what I can to shoot some vlog reviews of that. But if you like this vlog, hit the like button. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe and we'll see you next time.